everybody. Today I'm going to be starting off with a true 22. I'm just going to sand and prep it and then I'm going to paint it with this old army green from Pop of Color Paints. Once your paint is all dry, mix up a little bit of epoxy and apply it to your cup very thinly so we can apply our glitter using the epoxy method. I will be using three of the glitters from a past designer box. We have Camo, Boot Camp, and Desert Moss. And we're just gonna apply them very sporadically in no pattern whatsoever in different shapes and sizes all the way around our cup. You should have something that looks like this and after it has cured a few hours we are going to take it over to our turner and add epoxy until smooth. I'm going to cut out a camo pattern on my silhouette out of this camo leopard print from the designer box. And then I warped it just a tad in silhouette program. That doesn't always make it perfect, but it does make it easier on a tapered cup. And we're just going to wrap that camo all the way around our cup. Once you have all the vinyl on, we're going to add another coat of epoxy. We're gonna be using a squirrel days and bronze bayou mica powders from woody's goodies and then from my shop we're going to be using some onyx luster dust and we're just going to add some polycrylic into some medicine cups and stir in those pigments Take some sort of sponge and cut off three smaller pieces. Then we are going to dip that sponge into our mica powder polycrylic mixture. And we're just going to dab onto the cup in sporadic kind of squished C shapes to start some leopard spots.
Once that has dried, I'm going to take some foil adhesive and just add a little bit in the center of our squished C shapes. I am using Deco Foil Duo foil adhesive, but you can also use Tacket. When you have very little on your brush, you can add a little bit more distressing by adding some of that foil adhesive in just some random spots. Once that adhesive has dried clear, go ahead and just take a big chunk and add it to your cup. If you're like me and you have foil adhesive clearly on your hands, the foil will stick to your fingers as well. So just keep rolling with it and apply it to your cup. And then to get the excess foil off, you can take a large chip brush and just brush your cup and all the excess will fall off. Once the foiling is complete, you can go ahead and add another coat of epoxy. Once your epoxy is all cured, you can add your decal. I cut mine out of metallic vinyl, which can be a pain to weed the inside of your letters. So I just left them attached and then I will apply the decal to my cup and then weed them after it's applied. And here is our tumbler all finished. I am a sucker for a good camo leopard combo. And with that added glitter, I think we just took it to another level. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you would like more tips and tricks, join my Facebook group with the link in the description. And if you would like more intermediate level tutorials, join my Patreon with the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching guys.